Along with Brahma, the creator Shiva, the destroyer, Lord Vishnu forms the powerful trio known as Trimurti in Hinduism. The divine Trimulate oversees the cosmic cycles of creation, preservation, and destruction. Today, our focus is on Lord Vishnu and his extraordinary role in maintaining cosmic balance. As a vital member of Trimurti, Lord Vishnu has assumed 10 incarnations collectively known as the Shavataras. These avatars showcase the divine essence of Vishnu and his dedication to upholding rightness and in order in the universe. Whenever the cosmic order faces disruption, Lord Vishnu descends to earth in various forms to set things right. These incarnations are not just epic tales but powerful narratives carrying profound meanings and lessons for humanity. The central theme of Vishnu avatars is the restoration of dharma or rightness. Each author employs distinct methods to achieve the divine purpose, whether it's a combating powerful demons, restoring balance in nature, or guiding rightness kings. Every author contributes to the cosmic harmony. The ten avatars of Lord Vishnu span across different yugas and reflect the timeless battle between good and evil. From Matsya, the fish, to Kalki, the future warrior had to come. Each avatar signifies a unique new chapter in the cosmic drama. So join us on this enlightening journey as we explore the Dashavatara unveiling the tales of Lord Vishnu's incarnations and universal lessons they carry. Get ready for the series that believes into the essence of rightness, cosmic balance and the eternal struggle between light and darkness. Once upon a time in the Satyuga, there were two gatekeepers named Jaya and Vijaya, who served Lord Vishnu in Vaikuntha. They were loyal but become proud of their position. One day, four wise brothers, the Kumaras, wanted to see Lord Vishnu. But Jaya and Vijaya, consumed by arrogance, denied the entry. The Kumaras, angered by this arrogance, cursed Jaya and Vijaya. Realizing their mistake, the gatekeepers requested to Lord Vishnu to lift the curse. But he explained the importance of learning from their arrogance. The curse meant that Jaya and Vijaya would be born thrice on earth. In Satya Yuga, as Hiranyakshipu and Hiranyaksha, they faced Varaha Avatar. In Treta Yuga, they were Ravana and Kumbhakarna, defeated by Lord Rama in Dwapar Yuga. They became Kansa and Shishupala, meeting their fate at the hands of Lord Krishna. The gods became brothers named Hiranyakshipu and Hiranyaksha. Hiranyaksha was a big fan of Lord Brahma. He prayed for a long time and in return Lord Brahma gave him a boon. According to this boon, no god, human, asura, deva, animal or beast could harm him. Hiranyaksha started troubling people on earth, thinking he couldn't be killed. He became very strong making the earth shake when he walked and the sky crack when he shouted. He bothered Devatas and attacked Indra's palace. Devatas were squared so they would hide in the caves of the mountains on earth. To trouble Devatas, more Hiranyaksha grabbed the earth and put it in Patal Lok. Mother Earth sank to the bottom of the ocean. At that time, Manu and his wife ruled the earth. They went to Lord Brahma, bowed and asked help of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma got worried and thought Mother Earth needed to be saved. So he advised to ask the help of Lord Vishnu. While Brahma meditated, a tiny boar fell from his nostrils. It grew into a big mountain-sized creature, which was Lord Vishnu. He went into the ocean to lift Mother Earth out of it. He became a boar to defeat Hiranyaksha. Because when getting the favor from Lord Brahma, Hiranyaksha forgot to mention boars. With a loud roar, Lord Vishnu in boar form jumped into the air, tore the clouds and dived into the ocean to find Mother Earth. He found Mother Earth in its depths. Meanwhile, Hiranyaksha went to the sea and challenged Varuna, Lord of the Ocean, to a battle. Varuna, knowing Hiranyaksha was stronger, suggested fighting Lord Vishnu and directed him to go find Vishnu. Narad suddenly appeared and said to Hiranyaksha, Vishnu was in the ocean saving Mother Earth. 
angry hiranyaksha rushed towards the ocean bed the boar had dug its tusk into the ocean bed lifted mother earth and started rising hiranyaksha rushed with a mace saying stop or i will crush your head the boar ignored and continued hiranyaksha got anger shouting written my earth don't run away the earth trembled in fear lord vishnu in boar form brought it to the surface placed it gently and placed it then he faced hiranyaksha they fought with maces for a long time brahma warned vishnu that lord vishnu have an hour to kill the demon before sunset to prevent his dark magic hiranyaksha threw his mace but vishnu tossed it they fought with fists hiranyaksha got angry and started shouting the earth was scared and trembling more lord vishnu hit hiranyaksha hard on his face tossed him in the air and he died on the spot manu got earth back and the gods got their heaven in this way lord vishnu in boar form defeated hiranyaksha and saved mother earth